Welcome to VBlog 44 Business 135 Phone with Excel and Math. Here we have two last this two last little um, uh, sheet tabs we're going to look at here. Markdown. Hey, and this is a note about Chapter 7, the last item in Chapter 7.3 is talking about operating profit and absolute loss, and we're not going to do that. And we're not going to do 7.4, which is inventory. So mark down, this will be the last topic for chapter 7. Hey, let's look at this problem here. Make this a little bit bigger. Is that better? Oh, no, that's smaller. Always rolling that little mouse the wrong way. Hey, here's a markdown problem. We actually already did some of these in chapter 3, but here it is again. The original price of the Parker is 100 Parka is 116 bucks. Wow, must be an expensive Parka. And that must keep you dry and, dry and have a heater in it and everything. If the markdown is 30%, what is the reduced price? Hey, here's our little template. Original price minus markdown equals the reduced price. So original price is always going to be the base. So we put 116 there or 100% there. It says a markdown of 30%. Boom. We put that right there, but it's minus. Subtract it to get the 70 pen. Notice this is base and part and part. These two are always going to add up to the base, just like 30% and 70% add up to 100%. So we do our subtraction, get our 70, put it there. Once we have our rate for reduced price, we can simply multiply 70 times 116. Base times rate equals part. Original price times reduced original price times reduced price rate. 116 times 70 equals 8120. All right, let's go ahead and do this in Excel. Hmm, I have to go up here and change the zoom there. How about 80? All right, there we go. We already have our 100% for our assumptions and our markdown rate of 30 and our original price of 16. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. The original price rate, base is always 100%. Enter. Markdown rate, I already gave us that, 30%. And the original price here was 116. So what is our reduced, um, how, how are we going to calculate our reduced price? Well, we need a reduced price rate. So let's go ahead and just do our subtraction equals 100 minus 30. Enter. And now we can simply multiply 70 times 116 equals round, because we're dealing with pennies here, times the 70%, comma, 2. That will give us $81.20. That's still an expensive parka. Let's do a lot of things. Hey, let's do our next one, mark up, mark, mark down 2. Here we go. Let's look at this problem. If a raincoat is sold at a reduced price, first it was a parka, now it was a, uh, it was a parka there, and now it's a raincoat. So this is $18. Hey, that's more my speed, $18. Um, and the markdown is 40%. What is the original price? Let's go ahead, plug our numbers in. We have 100 always, because base is always 100%. Our reduced price, notice here they give us our reduced price, so we go ahead and plug that in there. And we have our 40%. The markdown 40%. So let's solve for the 60%. First, 100 minus 40, 60. So 60 pen, uh, put that in there. Once we have that, we have our rate. We have a base we can multiply. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. We're solving for the original price here. See, if I could only read the reduced price of 18. We have a related part and a related rate, so I simply have to do the division. Part divided by rate equals base. In our case, the part is reduced price, and the rate is reduced price rate. So 18 bucks divided by 0 .6, $30. That was the original price. Let's go ahead and see if we can do this in Excel. Original price rate, base is always 100%. The markdown rate is 40%. Let's go ahead and um, the other thing they gave us was the reduced price. I need to reduce this again to 80. So our reduced price is going to be 
18. Let's go ahead and add, um, subtract, so it's equals 100. 100% minus 40%, enter. We have our 60. Now we can calculate our original price. Equals round, open parentheses, the, oh, that's in the way. So I'm going to wait till I get that question and go, zoop. I can take the part divided by the related rate, comma 2, because we're getting to the penny, enter. 30 bucks. Now, um, why do we always uh, do it this way, set up an assumption? Because really, once you get a little template like this, you can um, try a bunch of different things. So what if the um, markdown rate, what if it was really 35%? If we change it in the assumptions, then everything here changes. And that's why we also put the round in, right? So when we're changing things, what if the reduced price is $16.99? Sixteen ninety nine, so that's reduced price. We uh, just change it here, and everything flows through, and we get an original price of twenty six fourteen. Click undo, undo. All right, um, there are some homework templates here if you want. There's just a little simple one there for that markup cost and markup uh, markdown. So there's three of them if you want to use them. Otherwise, you can definitely make your own. And um, we'll see you next chapter eight and nine.